Halo Infinite Skull Locations. On the level Warship Gabrakin, you'll go through a corridor and come to a long room with a bunch of vertical box conveyor belt things on the right hand side. Grapple up to the walkway and jump onto the fourth box. Turn around and face the entrance you came in. As the box continues up, walk off once you see the roof of the stationary box in front and the skulls at the end. On the level foundation, you'll come to a big room with a massive gap in the middle. Grapple up to the top gap on the first column in front of you. Stand on the edge at the left hand side and look up towards the middle of the room. You want to jump and grapple to the beam at the top of the roof. The skulls at the start of the beam. On the level of the command spire you'll reach this big room where hexagon pillars are floating through the rooms. Go straight ahead following the pillars until they turn to go right. Just above them will be a ledge. As they turn right, you want to reach the ledge by grappling onto the pillar as it turns. Then jump and grapple again onto the ledge. Once you're up, look up slightly and around, you're wanting to grab onto the platform that's sticking out. Go through the door and the skull's in the room at the end of the corridor. On the level repository you'll come to an area with light bridges and a button in the middle. Facing the exit door, turn to your right and you'll see another door. Go back the way across the light bridge and then go left, grapple across to the area with the door and go through. Pick up the power seat at the end of the room and head back the way you came. You're now wanting to head to the door at the opposite side of the room. Grapple back across. Make your way over to the other door and try not to fall off like I almost did. Grapple across to the next door and go through the corridor. Turn to your right and at the back left of the room place the power seed. Now continue on through the level until you reach a big room with a gap where a window should be, just above two slanted columns. Go up one of the columns and through the gap. Once you're in this room, the skull straight ahead. On the level Silent Auditorium, you need to progress through this without killing any sentinels. Thankfully, the sentinels only show up in one room, but on harder difficulties this can actually get quite tough. You can grapple your way through using the columns for cover. You'll eventually reach a room where you need to activate a light bridge. The bridge on the other side will also activate, go straight across and through the door. At the back of the room on a raised park floor is the skull. In the open world at the bottom left, close to Ransom Keep, you'll notice this big chasm. Looking at the map, you want to climb up the left hand side of it and continue heading forwards, keeping close to the edge of the chasm. When you get about midway, look over the edge to your left and you'll see some glow sticks. Fall down and follow those glow sticks. You'll notice some metal areas further down, jump down and land on those. Face the cliff where you jump down from and you'll see another metal area. Grapple over there and the skulls to the left tucked in next to the rock face. In the open world, right outside the tower, you're wanting to use one of the support legs of the tower to work your way up to the roof. Grapple onto the first level of the support legs, then grapple onto the second level then walk all the way up. At the end you'll notice a metal plate with a design on it, grapple onto that. Grapple to the top of the curved part of the tower and face away from the wall. You can see some spikes sticking out from the roof above you. Grapple onto the second one in the inside and swing yourself around to the centre of the tower roof on the outside. Facing the tower, jump away and grapple to the part above where you are standing. From here, head towards the centre of the roof. Past all the floodlights in the middle, on top of a crate is the skull. 
In the open world, just outside FOB Alpha, follow the outside of the cliff where the metal ground starts to show. Follow it down and around the corner. You'll notice a doll on a rock. From here, jump straight across to the metal platform. To your right, grapple onto the hanging metal hexagon to reach the other side. Turn around and to the right from where you came, grapple across to the metal platform that's covered in dirt. Make your way around this area, around the corner and then grapple straight ahead to the next platform slightly raised. Continue grappling round to the left, moving higher up the pillars. Turn around and grapple towards the higher metal pillar that's covered in dirt. Continue to grapple to the next dirt covered pillar, then look up to the left of the next dirt covered platform and grapple upwards. Turn around and continue across, following the dirt and rock covered pillars. The skull's on a raised pillar and a metal kind of cave-like formation of these pillars. In the open world, the next skull's at the top left of the map that's disconnected from the main part of land. From Outpost Tremonius, you can grapple across to the other side of the ravine, or if you've got access to a banshee, just fly across. At the part of the map that's starting to hook to the right, look for a lake between trees and the mountains. The skull's inside a broken tree trunk close by the lake. In the open world by one of the beacons you can see one lone pillar well above the rest. The skull's on top of this. You can use a banshee or you can grapple by working your way up to the top of the cliff just above the pillar. From the top of the cliff next to a brute, look over the edge to see the pillar with a skull on it. When you jump, be careful as the wind has a habit of pushing you away from the pillar. As you can see, I was pushed away, but thankfully managed to get the grapple to lift me back up. In the open world by Riven Gate, as you're heading towards the gate, to your right you'll notice a waterfall. Head towards it. As you're getting close, look about midway up the waterfall and you'll barely see a slight light. You're wanting to grapple up towards this. It can be quite difficult to judge because of the water, but once you manage it, crouch through the cave entrance and the skulls at the back of the cave on a wooden spike. In the open world by FOB November, get a banshee and head towards the beacon on the hill right at the edge of the land. If you need to find a banshee, go to FOB Hotel, they spawn just down a hill from there. To the right of the beacon you'll see a floating island a bit lower down. Head towards the opposite side of the rocks at the top and on the metal area the highest part will have a dead elite. Jump out your banshee so you land on this part, the skull's in the elite's hand. 